I am so happy to be with you here. Let me tell you a little bit about myself. I s- Wiki, Wikidata started in 2004 and I became a member in 2006. It was a baby when I just started to be a member. It was easy to edit at the beginning. I didn't do something very specific for a while. I met Mr. Zafar and then I learned a lot about Wikidata. About Wikidata, my friends, the family helped a lot. But it's a little bit difficult for me to understand Wikidata. I'm a health personnel. I'm not an engineer. I don't know so much about it. Maybe we should make it a little bit more easier, make it convenient. This is why when they invite me, I want to make some representations. I want to show my views as a health staff personal and I do this voluntarily. I love to be here with the people who are here voluntarily. Let's see what I can tell you about Wikidata. I should Mr. Asaf told you about data science. I hope it will be parallel information. We can say things or subjects. Subjects, let's call it. The subjects may have categories. According to a feature, for example, or maybe f- according to the co- color. And there are some links between them. For example, between people, we have friendship link, relationship. Or between lands, we have bridge. Or between computers, we have the internet. So the links are there. What we call subject, we should categorize them by their qualities or links or categories or their values, height, weight, and everything. We see a glass over there, tea glass. It's a thing, it's a subject. According to Wikidata, we see the code or we see the glass code or we see the drinking glass code. The more it is detailed on the categories, the better it is for us, the more beneficial it is for us. We can check the subjects and sub-subjects. There are many qualities of a glass. We may have glasses. We may have some glasses without a holder. We may have some glasses, cartoon glasses. When we classify the subjects, it's totally different than classifying the subjects according to their links. For example, a person can be talked about their education style, their family, the place of their birth. There is a photo of dance section. It's a painting. The artist is obvious. When it is painted, it's obvious. What is this painting is obvious. It shows us a boy dancing, and we have a data number. Let me tell you about these links. For example, this tea glass. Inside the tea glass, we have tea. And the glass is on the plate, on the source. For example, the color of the tea is red, so it's it's permanent quality, and we have temporary 
qualities of the team. We can show here via an Excel table that the person is graduated from this university, the name of the university, it is graduated or not, etc. Because mathematics has changed, developed a lot, we have came up to here. There's an article written by Leonard Euler. There are seven bridges in Kunzbeck. There's a problem about the bridge, Kunzbeck Bridge, and it has not been solved for a while. If we call the bridge, if we call Coinsberg with A, B, C, we can solve this problem. The problem is to be able to visit the whole Coinsberg using the bridges just one time. But to be able to visit Coinsberg to travel around Coinsberg, you have to at least two times across one bridge. So there is this problem. Sometimes there are two ways of the bridges. As you see, when we call second layer, second times, two times, or three times, or four times, there are four ways from the central. We can call this graph theory. We have neurological structure and it has links. We have millions of neurons and they have links between each other. They have one way links because the data is one way. We have dendrites, from the dendrites it goes to the neurons, and from neurons to extrates. It's very interesting for me to see a fractal structure. Not only this way, I can also tell more about this fractal. As you see, in nature we have many fractal visions. We can show our metabolism as a fractal because metabolism is not just one way. It goes like the branches of a tree. Or we can show electronic devices like this. Or the cities, as you see in this city of Vatican. The ways are also we can call airlines or the internet map all around the world. They are all factors. We can talk about our communities. I took this information from Wikidata. You can render this um, representation to you after the representation. For example, Mr. Azizanjar is one of the person who took Nobel, and there is a table that which with whom he worked with during his Nobel Prize process. When we check the illnesses, let's call about let's talk about obesity, for example. The obesity has a relation with diabetes. If someone has obesity, there are so much burden 
burden on the hip, on the legs, and they have problems of their veins on their throat. Obesity is actually something alone, but it's definitely linked with other illnesses, other structures of our organism. Also, we can talk about the genes, which illness is linked with which genes of ours. And the other living creatures are very similar to us, so they are the same like us. Actually, we can talk about our emotions too. For example, love is linked with happiness. Our anxiety links our depression. All emotions are linked. We can talk about the sciences. For example, health is linked with the whole science. Also, the things we eat, for example, the glucose is linked with the things we eat, right? Our neural system is definitely linked with each other. Canero habitus elegance has 302 neurons. It's a simple organism, but it has many links between each other. In our small world, as you see, for example, a family, one person inside the family is linked with other members outside the family. For example, the father has links between the school of his child or the workplace of him. If you live in a small village, you have links to bigger cities. If you have, if you live in a city, you have links to the suburb, you have links to the country, and you have links with the other countries. So, at Eventually, you have links to the whole world. It's an image taken from a vision of our brains, as you see. These links are dynamic. The more we learn, the more they link together. I will give you the address of my presentation. When you click the link over here, you will see this 3D presentation of which I've done. When we have new links, it changes our new situation. Wikidata is a little bit different on this base because every day, every moment, every second, everything is getting changed. We talk about our health. Lipos are a part of our health. Glucosis is our health. The brain is linked to our health. So categories and the links has a huge impact on the subject we understand. We understand everything easily, actually. If I say something to you, for example, yellow, round, and sour, what do you think? You think of a lemon, no? So, for example, if I say yellow, long, and sweet, you think of a banana, right? We have common thoughts like this. See, there is a world, a small world on our mind set already. It, it makes us, for us, to understand something easier. 
For example, orange and sweet and sour and round. But do we think about it? We think of a mandarin and also we think of an orange. And if we think about the size of this fruit, then we will make it more obvious. So when we don't understand something according to our current categories, we can make another category and make the data more understandable for us. The more categories we have, the easier we understand. I have a colorful MR study over here. We see waters. If the color is dark or light, we don't have purple over here. Can you see? Some specific things has the colors over here. When we enter the information which is valuable, which is important for us, that's enough for the brain. So the problem is over here. It's, it's complex. It's a lot. We should be a gardener, a curator, a coordinator, a producer. So this is how we will construct, we will make our data complete. Right now I have a small text taken from Wikidata. So from heart, from this small text, how we will use, how will we learn about the data. So if you change it into Wikidata, we have specific information. The heart has the co has the qualification to pump. The heart exists between the ribs. It's between two lungs. There is some scientific information given we have parametric qualifications, features. There are some information just like the heart pumps 60 or 80 times in a minute, how much it weights, how many times the heart pumps in a whole life, the size, the weight of the organs, the values of the organs, the indexes of the organs. You're seeing a graphy of a lung. It seems like an easy thing when we see inside. We can see from Wikidata, we can see the Q names of the terms. I want to talk about the links because general main purpose of my presentation is that. Do you see there is a vein or Artus art is a vein. It exists in the corner, left and right corner. Actually, it's a part of the aorta. Do you see there are some branches? Scientific information given. There are sub information, sub 
texts. He's explaining about the links of the aorta, how it works generally. In Wikidata, the current thing we should do is to fill the blanks if there is no information yet. This information should be changed and correct information should be sustained. For health, there should be maybe another project. As humans, we have lots of things to do to provide information about the health in big data. The illnesses also can be described one by one as data. It's not a health congress, so I will not talk about these in details. We have coronary arteries, it is taken from the Wikipedia 2. This is heart, as you see, and we have the ribs over there, here. You can see cardiothoracic scale. He's explaining how to calculate the scale. So the size of the heart should be less than 0 0.5, and we had the mathematical calculation. If it's bigger than 0 0.5, it's called a problem, cardiomegaly. It is called bigger than it should be the, if the heart is bigger than it should be. And you see the QR names, Q names of the name of the illnesses. Medicine is a huge subtext, subject. We have anatomy, biophysics, biochemistry, physiology. This all is taught us during our medicine education. So these information are all very small, but they're all linked. They give us all this information when we are taught medicine, one by one, and it's really difficult. It's taken a long time to enter these all information to Wikidata, because we should explain why the illnesses are happening, what happened to a specific person and that illness happened. This illness caused what? It differs from person to person. How the statements getting worse or better? We can get help from artificial intelligence to build this data on Wikidata. How can we take care to provide all this information, in, in, import all this information to Wikidata? Here, we will get help from artificial intelligence, as you see. Wikipedia's lifetime, all his lifetime, it Wikidata developed in a short time, actually. And I think that development will continue. The development, big developments, will continue in a short time. We have a software called NIME. I think you should check for it. It 
would be uh, very beneficial software. Maybe we can link it to data because it's an easy software to use. In health, what we need is it should be dy dynamic and linked modules structure. Because our health problems are open, for example, traffic accident, it means that I have a link with a vehicle. It's complex because there are many things. It's dynamic because it changes via time. Because it's linked, it means it's fast and linked to other things. What is health? It's generally physical and psychological goodness. If you're psychologically and physically good, it means you're healthy. There are many illnesses, genetics. After that, all through your life, you can get other illnesses, which is not congenital. Community, the food we have, toxins, the spores, our occupations, cultural changes, our traumas, medicine, being hungry, any problems are linked hugely to health. And with all of these small details taken and important, imported to Wikidata, it means that we have a lot to do. There are many other new problems, as you see, that we should update information on Wikidata. You know, we had coronavirus recently. We have environmental problems. These are all new information that we should update on Wikidata. What is the problem over here, but we are very little people here. Qualified people times time means a lot of hard work to do. As you see, people here, qualified people, should give their time, qualified time also, to Wikidata. We should have a technical technical convenience and also quality and people, qualified people and time to build all this data. So thank you so much for listening. You came here on a Sunday morning. Thank you for listening again and thank you for contributions. If you have any questions, can I have it? Thank you so much for the information you give, Mr. Mehmet. There is a question. It's not directly about Wikidata, but the information imported in Wikidata, what do you think about the people who are making, making comments, writing information, misinformation? What do you think about this information about health? They are making comments about it. Like people are not making technical comments. People without no education on health are making comments. So as a doctor, when the patients are coming to us, when I, when I talk to them, I'm telling, like, if it hurts himself or herself, it should only hurt one person. So the person, if uses painkillers, the person should use it itself, not take it to someone else. I don't say the person should commit suicide or something. The person should not affect another person. When they come to a doctor, people, it means that people cannot solve the problems and then they consult for a doctor. Actually, the, ideally, they should come at the first place, but they come to doctors, they consult doctors as the second plan, B plan. Maybe the doctors are not their answer at the beginning. This is why they use doctors as B plan. Well, 
about your question if the information help people and doesn't hurt people this information is okay beneficial but the words I use on Google and the words patients use on Google when they browse are different I ask a question technical question for example but the patient writes on Google I have a headache what happening so what's happening when I have a headache in our medicine book we have 25 pages on one book according to headache for example if they have headache on our frontal lobe for example it means anxiety or something else so we need a specialty to comment on an ache for example when they come for a headache for example and they have a problem of their eye I direct them I forward them to an ophthalmologist ophthalmologist because it's the specialty of an ophthalmologist educational guests we have who can do it qualified people I can't think of an how an oncologist can think because I don't have this information I don't have this specialty I haven't studied that so we have a difference between educational gas or gas educational gas is based on our experience for example the person knows if I do this it happens something else happens the result is this if the person experiences something at the first time the person can make an experiment on itself and the result may be both negative and positive we cannot get involved with this this is their preference of course we would be upset if something bad happens but there is no one doctor who can control all 81 million people in Turkey right I have a question. Actually, my question is according to management of Wikidata, but I want to learn your your thoughts about my question. He's asking about the Q numbers. For example, the the universe should be Q1, for example, or the sun should be called Q3, because when I think something big from big to smaller filters, why is it called not Q3? The sun is not called 3. The first one is the cosmos. The sun is Q2, for example. And I want to add another question. When we were talking about Gexim, cat like Sim, so the cat was L7. What is L1? I'm wondering after this question. L numbers um, uh, in a uh, completely <coughs> completely linear fashion. The next item to be created will get the Q number of one more than the previous item created. So the, the Q numbers reflect the actual order of creation in time. It's completely linear. Now, <coughs> when they started Wikidata, they were like, okay, what is going to be the very first item we create? It's not going to be, I don't know, the random book I'm reading right now. We need to make it symbolic. So they made it the universe. 
Um, but very quickly, they were like, okay, it works. We had a symbolic first item. Now let's start. And so because they were Germans, you will find that Germany has one of the lowest Q numbers compared to other countries. But, you know, it's, it's, um, it wasn't planned all the way, and it certainly wasn't meant to, the, the order wasn't meant to reflect some logical hierarchy. It was just a symbolic first item, maybe second as well, but uh, nobody, nobody's really trying to keep the numbers meaningful. Likewise, in Lexeme, I invite you to answer your own question yourself. Go to Wikidata, look up L colon 1, okay. and see. And also, the fuel in Turkey. Turkey. <laughs> The Turkey number also, uh, the very surprise for me because this is the Turkey number is the Q43. It is very, very, uh, the begin of the Wikidata, it's very surprised for me. Bu arada, uh, yani soru gelinceye kadar bir kısa teşekkür yapmak istiyorum. Wiki I want to have a small thank you if there was not Vicky Salon. I want to thank to the Mr. Zafer, I want to thank to Mr. Hakan, I want to thank the whole equip who helps us for the organization, Ms. Bachak also, she helped a lot, everybody gave, contributed a lot, yesterday night we had a great party, and everybody, everybody was having fun all together, and we have to thank you to make this everybody-ness, all togetherness. We can access to Wikidata and it's easy for us to access and we can edit. What do you think as a doctor that the information on Wikidata can be edited by everyone? Like for example, about medicine which is very essential. So can should people be able to edit easily? It's about actually it's about the community. So vandal vandalism can can change the information, make it misunderstandings, you know. If a bad person tries to do something bad for the information, the new users entries are weighted right now. They are waiting. It's not suddenly accepted. You can undo it also. It doesn't uncomfort me right now. It doesn't make me feel uncomfortable about it. When you check German Wikidata, for example, it's obvious that a doctor has written about it. When you see the genetic website, when you see the genetic page, you understand that it's obviously written by a person who is in the field, who has experienced it. Britannica have tried it. You know, it was the leader of Encyclopedia. But right now they cannot compete with the information with only being an encyclopedia. Not any company can hire millions of people and inform people or get information written on in a singular page website institution. So Wikipedia is helping us about it. Is it benefit? Is it benefit for everybody the Wikipedia? Because uh, sometimes the person can just have the fear of getting a disease, and psychologically he feel illness somewhere, but he is not ill, and he look at Wikipedia and he become more stressful. <laughs> see? So, is it is it a problem for you as a doctor? Well, I guess it's the same question as. Uh, the previous one, but I will uh, try to ask. 
uh, everyone's health uh, is the uh, person's own responsibility. Uh, so no one is responsible for uh, another one's health, uh, but we are responsible for the content of the uh, page that we create. So we want it to be accurate and uh, detailed and uh, reflecting the latest knowledge. Uh, so uh, if someone wants to solve his own health problems, uh, he should be able to access the latest and most accurate knowledge available uh, in the term of an encyclopedia item. Uh, many of the patients just uh, get a diagnosis from me. Uh, I say you have uh, stones in your gallbladder, so they uh, go to the gallbladder stone page and uh, look what's the gallbladder stone and how it will uh, affect their health. Uh, as doctors, we cannot explain any, everything in a short period of time. So everybody, everyone should have access to the detailed knowledge. About the anxiety, anxiety is uh, another problem. And we have uh, an anxiety problem in the modern world. Uh, so uh, it can be solved by yoga or uh, mindfulness or uh, any type of uh, solution that uh, each one can each person can find uh, thanks again for inviting me and uh, being here together uh, it was a pleasure to meet you at Istanbul uh, I hope you to see at uh, another Wikidata meeting.